Zion Williamson and the Pelicans humiliated themselves. Zero defense this afternoon. King Me is right. The Sacramento Kings humiliate the New Orleans Pelicans, who in a huge game didn't even bother to play a lick of defense. Memphis, by the way, is going to go 0-8 in the bubble. Schedule is impossible, and Darren Jackson's out for the season. Portland has just went through the lineup. They're making it. I thought the play-in game still could be with the schedule. Portland and the Pelicans, but hey, keep an eye on everybody on this board because if the Pelicans play like they did today, they don't have a chance. And by the way, they're playing Zion, and now he's scoring points. That first game, when they didn't play him down the stretch, let me tell you, if the Pelicans end up missing the playoffs, they will never recover. They will never, ever recover. That that was just a terrible job by the New Orleans Pelicans. They didn't play to win right from the jump in Orlando. Boy, what a rough afternoon. I mean, it's one thing to give up a bevy of points. It's another thing in a huge game to do that against Sacramento. I mean, Sacramento doesn't even belong in the bubble. Are you kidding me? I'm Stuggs, but I'm thrilled for the Nuggets. Porter landed in a fantastic spot. Obviously, we know this is about the medicals and the back surgery. Teams were scared off, but Denver pounced, and it's awesome. Connolly stressed that it's not about Summer League or even October for Michael Porter Jr. It's a long-term deal, a long-term play. He's swinging for the fences. He's a special talent. And if Michael Porter's healthy at 6'10", he's a young Kevin Durant. The Denver Nuggets swung for the fences. History will show they hit a home run. Time to shine as we shine on basketball. And how about that incredible throwback Thursday to June of 2018? And it certainly is applicable in terms of what's going on in the bubble. I told you that was the steal of the draft. I told you that Michael Porter Jr. when healthy could play offense in a young Kevin Durant-like fashion. That's why we led the show with this the day after the draft. And you've seen it now in the bubble in back-to-back -back games. What is going on with Michael Porter Jr.? Not a fluke. This is who he is. This is what he does. He is a special, special ball player. You look at his height, his ability to score, his ability to hit from three. He looks like a young Kevin Durant. And I, I think the world of Michael Porter Jr., and he's getting coached up by the great Michael Malone and Big Honey having him on the team. That is great. He's doing this and Jamal Murray isn't even the lineup for the Denver Nuggets. This is ridiculous. We were light years ahead of the curve on how special Michael Porter Jr. is going to be. And if you've been paying attention, you can't be surprised. The L.A. Clippers were the pick of Kevin Durant, who recently said on a podcast that he's got the Clippers to beat the Milwaukee Bucks. Clippers over the Bucks in the NBA Finals. Yeah, I'm worried about the Clippers and their chemistry so far in the fall. I am very worried about it. They, I'm worried about their chemistry all year. They haven't had all their key guys at once all season long. So I don't think when you look at the level of competition, all of a sudden they can turn on a switch. I, I just don't buy that. And, you know, Doc Rivers is a tremendous coach. There's no question about it. But one and two, when you look at the bubble, you know, he doesn't have his guys. Monster Carroll is, is dealing with a death of the family. You know, Pat Ed is not going to be able to go tonight in the game against the Dallas Mavericks. You know, Sweet Lou Williams is interested in the chicken wings, among other things. And, you know, these guys just have not played together all year long. I, I respect the talents. I acknowledge the upside. But I think more people, including obviously Kevin Durant, need to realize the downside. I mean, I could see the Clippers being picked off sooner rather than later in the postseason because they're sloppy. You saw those turnovers down the stretch against 
Phoenix, and they have zero chemistry. They've had zero chemistry all season long.